Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. This is week nine from 2018. So I'm gonna get my photos in place. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about what I am doing this week. Oh, but before that, I wanted to let you know that I had enough photos that I did wanna do an insert. So I will be working on both for this spread. So this week I decided to do a little bit of a theme and I did mention it in my Instagram stories during week nine as I was living it because I had this idea. Um, actually, my daughter came home on, I don't know if you want to say Monday night or early Tuesday morning at like 3.20 in the morning uh, from IHOP with some of her friends. And they did that because they didn't have school on Tuesday because of ACT testing for the juniors. So Everyone else in the school got a day off, which was really awesome for them. So they were really excited and they wanted to celebrate by going to IHOP, which I'm totally fine with. She's almost 18 years old. But when I was thinking about how I would tell that story in Project Life, I thought to myself, you know, what? it would be really cool to do like a timestamp and to do like, I think it was 321 a.m. or something like that and then write the story. And that is what led me to the theme for this week. And so I thought, you know what? Every day I'm going to come up with one story every day to highlight that is based on the time. So that story right there, the 3.39 a.m., that's what I was talking about. I was gonna put it for Monday, but really it's Tuesday morning. And I wanna do one every single day. So you'll see that I get to it right now. I'm doing the timestamp and I'm using Studio Calico's mega timestamp, which is really cool. I hadn't used it before. Uh, I was really let down in myself that I hadn't used it before because I've had it for several months, but I'm excited to be able to do it with this project. I think this is going to be really cool and I really like the way that it turned out. In fact, I keep thinking this would be fun to do again. So every day I really thought, I tried to think about as the day was going on, you know, what is one thing that I would love to highlight? And I often do that with my photos, but definitely thought this would be a lot of fun to do with the time. So that 3.39 a.m. that was, like I said, my daughter and her, when she came home in the middle of the night, um, the 3.20 p.m. I believe was on Monday when I actually got my dryer fix that had been broken for two weeks. So grateful to be able to get that fixed, especially because the people that were supposed to fix it, they like canceled on me on Monday and they said they weren't coming. And I'm like, I have been waiting for two weeks. This is not an option. And then my brother gave me a name of a handy guy and he came literally in 20 minutes. So I'm always going to call him if I need help. So anyway, that was the story for Monday. Tuesday was my daughter. Wednesday, I can't now remember. Oh, that was 742 was Wednesday and I took my husband to the airport. He went to San Francisco for, it was supposed to be a couple days, but he actually left in the morning and then came home that evening. He didn't end up staying over like he thought he was going to need to. So he kind of surprised us. So that was a little bit about that story. The 8.22 p.m., that is about my daughter's concerto night. And she took to the stage at 8.22 to play her concerto, which was amazing. She was, in my opinion, she was phenomenal. So wanted to highlight that story there. The 11.02 p.m., which is really late, that was a Saturday. That's when Megan and I returned home after a long day at her dance competition. So as I'm kind of explaining some of the stuff that's going on and you're watching me print things out, I wanted you to be aware of my storybook or my story planner that was sitting next to me. And it was what I wrote all my ideas on during the week. So I just kind of would write down the time and then a story. And there were a couple days that I had two different stories and I wasn't sure which one I was gonna pick, but I just decided as I was creating, uh, creating this spread. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the journaling. You can see that I pulled over that that stamp set and I am going to put the day of the week, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I wasn't sure what color I wanted to 
do the stamping in because I hadn't picked out any embellishments. So I thought it would probably be best just to go ahead and wait. A good thing that I, or something I could have done is just do gray, but um, I wanted to wait and see if maybe I wanted to do a different color or something like that. So now I'm just going to lay them all out and there's definitely seven of them. So it's one per day and I'm trying to figure out, you know, if I want them all in a row and then do have an embellishment on the outside or do have an embellishment in between. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how um, I want to lay everything out. I left off the 822 because I'm thinking of putting it in the insert. I don't end up doing that. I end up uh, putting it actually in the 12 by 12, but that was kind of an option for me. Now I'm looking through some cards. These ones came from Studio Calico. This is their February kit, maybe Candyland perhaps is what it was called, I think so. And they there was a lot of pinks and reds, but also some blues and purples. It was a, a really fun kit. I enjoyed playing with it. And I loved that quote and I liked that it was red because it kind of matched her dress. And so I saw these embellishments. These came from Allie Edwards for the love kit. In fact, these hearts were an add-on, so they didn't actually come in the kit, but I really love them and I thought that they would go great. They've got red and I like the, um, the green and the gray with it as well. So I thought, you know, why not put a lot of hearts in this, in this layout? So this layout is going to be very heart heavy. And I apologize that you did, I skipped, there is a huge chunk missing and it's because I was listening to music and my camera turned off and I didn't hear that it turned off. So I'm just working away, not realizing that I'm not actually recording. So all that you missed is me putting the hearts in place and then putting the dates onto those cards, which is fine because that probably took up, you don't necessarily need to see me stamping all of that, but I did end up using Allie Edwards red ink for that. And you can find a link below. Uh, she's got a great red. It's not, I don't think it's a true, true red. There's, a, I feel like it has a little bit of orange in it, but I think it's a really great color. So you can see that I'm just kind of moving things around and trying to rearrange things and see how I want them to go. I didn't want those hearts to be on top of each other, which was why I was kind of rearranging. But you'll see that um, I end up putting everything back and I'll have hearts on top of each other. And you know, it's not a big deal. It's just something that I tend to think about when I'm doing these spreads. So these hearts did have a film on it. This, these plastic type of embellishments tend to have like a plastic film on it just so it protects the embellishment. So I just had to pull those off of each of them. And then I'm actually going to staple, staple those on in the end. All right, so now I'm working on the title card and I was thinking about just doing something white, but I wanted something a little bit different. So this is the back of a Studio Calico card and it's small um, plus signs. So I just decided to add that currently heart right on top of it. And now I'm trying to decide how I wanna add the date. I'm thinking of either doing both dates on one side or one date on the left and one date on the right. So what I decided to do is just stamp them onto a piece of paper and try it out and see what I like better. So you can see that I'm getting an idea of what it looks like there and then I'm gonna cut it in half or rip it in half and then just see what I think. I decided to put both of them on one side but I think either was fine. In fact, I kind of did like the other one as I'm watching the video. I was thinking, oh yeah, this that's nice having them both on either side. So it really just depends on kind of what you are going for. I really think that there's a lot of options you can do and there's not really a definite have to for any of these projects that we're working on. So I also pulled over the For the Love chipboard set and this actually did come in the kit and I grabbed it over because um, I knew that a lot of the sentiments would be about love and that always goes with the Project Life spread, but also the colors would totally match then the hearts that I was using. You can see that I am going ahead and gonna staple those on. I like that this staple not only helps keep it in place, but then just adds a bit of texture as well. And, and this one, I didn't love how it was sitting on the photo. I wanted it to interact with the edge. 
So I'm actually taking out the staple right now and I'm moving it over the heart and then I will end up uh, stapling that again on top of it. I did my best to staple right in the same spot and you can't, you can't tell, especially because where the staple was in the photo, I covered up with the heart again, so you can't even see it. Now I'm going to staple on the everyday, and this one is not gonna be hanging off the side, mostly because it would cut off part of the word and I didn't wanna do that, so I just left it there in the middle. And then the next thing I'm doing is I'm looking for more embellishments and then number two, uh, journaling for the uh, four by six spot that's up at the top with my daughter and her friends dancing or they're not dancing in that picture, but the yellowy picture, I want to do some journaling. And again, I think I lost some footage. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I was just looking through some cards there uh, to maybe put in that spot. And I grabbed over this uh, heart one from Allie Edwards because I've decided you can't have too many hearts in this uh, in this spread. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I don't know, as I was editing, editing it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually a lot of hearts. But you know what? A lot of hearts, a lot of stars. They are some of my favorite shapes. So I'm just sticking with it. Really loving the way this turned out. So I, I'm looking for some more cards because I had one more three by four space and I didn't know what else to put in it. And then I'm looking at these chipboards and adding those as well. So this chipboard that I'm putting on says for the love of friends. And I thought that that would go great with that photo of my daughter and her adorable friends. Like I can't even tell you how sweet it was that they were all there supporting here. So super grateful for that. And then just adding love you good on that heart and going to stick it in. The one thing I feel like I wish I had done a little bit differently with this spread now that I'm looking at it is there are greens, but I feel like the red is really um, in your face. I just feel like there's a lot of red. There's red in my daughter's dress. There's red in um, the embellishment. There's red in more of the photos. So I feel like maybe if I had stamped the days of the week in like different colors or something, I maybe would have liked that a little bit better. Or Allie Edwards color St. Helens or Helena St. Helens. I can't remember. <laughs> um, if I had maybe used that, it's more of a subtle green color, a beigey green. I think maybe I would have liked that a little bit better too. So I don't know, just something to think about. It's not like I'm going to redo anything, but it's just something that I thought about, you know, as I'm looking at this spread now. So the last thing that I want to do with this spread is I want to add uh, a tab to the insert. So that's a two inch Avery tab. And right now I just realized that I could see a lot of white behind that three by four red card. And so I just wanted to cut the photo down a little bit so there wasn't so much red showing. And then I realized that heart love this, which I really love that there's that see-through element there. I hadn't taken the plastic off of it, so I decided I needed to do that before I completely finished with this layout. And you guys, I just could not get the the re these cards to fit together so it was kind of driving me crazy but I in the end I just kind of end up leaving it one thing I thought I would mention since I was just talking about the love this heart I love that it is a see-through element and one of the things I wanted to do or I had thought about doing is having the card underneath it actually be the journaling for the insert it did not work out that way I could actually flip the love this and the three by four card around so that it would work out that way. But for whatever reason, I just decided to keep it there. But if you were going to do something like this, uh, you might want to consider doing something like that. All right, guys. So I'm just stamping with some Allie Edwards stamp. These are old stamps that actually came with Technique Tuesday, but I believe she has these stamps available in a roller. So I really love the type and I really love that these sentiments can go, they literally could go with anything. So I uh, stamped out celebrate this and also totally love. Anyway, you guys, I am completely done with this spread. Really hope that you enjoyed this process and that you will give it a try doing a theme that is all based on time. I really enjoyed it, like I said. In fact, I definitely want to do it again. It was just a great way to be able to tell stories from your week. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate your support on my channel and we will catch you in the next one. Bye.